Hey everybody, what's going on? Shabby Do here, and today we're gonna take another look at Craftopia with this Shabby Experience, one of the first videos we've ever made. So let's get back in and see how good this game is looking eight months after the alpha release. So we're gonna do a single player, we're gonna create a new character, we're gonna start fresh from scratch. Let's make a uh you know what? No, we'll stick with the guy character and let's create Shabby Do again. All right, and there's Shabby Doo. It looks like we got elves and demons still coming soon, so we'll see how those come along. Uh, character's name. I wonder if it's going to let me make the same character name. Give it a capital letter just in case. And let's destroy the world. Now, test complete. All it's the best part of the game, I'm telling you right now. I could press that button all day, every day. It's a big FOV right there. Might have to change that. Ah, uh, it's our dear goddess. Welcome, Shappy Dude. Do you remember Earth? It is the planet you destroyed. We're gonna get right past all this stuff. If you watch the first series, you've seen this. But otherwise, she's just telling us we destroyed the world. And now we're going to create a new one. All right. We stopped listening to her nonsense and uh, we need a world. So this is going to be a shabby world because I'm, I'm not creative. Game difficulty. Let's do uh, normal. Why not? Shabby world. Welcome to the world of Craftopia. We're going to need to hit some trees and stones and make a workbench. Progress through the eras. I wonder if we can get further than we could before. And obviously we need to uh, build our transportation. So let's fix this uh, FOV. That's pretty large. I changed it because I don't think that was a setting before. Let's turn it down to uh, 50 here. Yeah, that's much better. Much better for one of these types of games. Oh, we still got our little tutorial people. We, we're going to cheese these guys later. That's for damn sure. Let's go hit some stuff here. Oh, perfect. Got a little stick. I know it's not efficient. It's not supposed to be. I'm hitting a rock. What if my hands will be more efficient than that? Nope, there isn't. So let's see. We gotta check the mission screen. We gotta receive a reward by completing all the missions in the mission category. I don't even know how to check the mission screen. That's the map. Tab. Can't see underneath that. There it is. That does say mission. Cool. And we're gonna jump. We're gonna climb a wall. I need to hit some trees. Oh, we got some sheepies sitting around here. All right, there's a couple of those. Let's see, that's crouch. Let's get into the crafting menu here and let's make an axe. Oh, look at that. So much more efficient. We're going to chop this bad boy down. We're going to chop this bad boy down. There it goes. All right, can I... Now I'm just going to be able to walk up this. Level up. We'll check all that stuff out later. What's this bow doing here? Oh, I need arrows. Duh. A little bit of sulfur. I want why could I see that chicken for so far? There we go. There's climbing a wall. We're only gonna make a very small base here just because this is a little starter island. We don't want to get too crazy. So what do we got? Receive a reward by completing all the missions. Hey, they're not bugged anymore. Those things used to get bugged all the time and you couldn't kill them. A 
nice bugged out deer will be very helpful. Thank you. I'll chop this down, then go see what my missions are supposed to be here. Alright, so... Oh, I just gotta claim the reward. Claim the reward, a skill point. And what's this? Uh, obtain 20 straw by defeating bushes. Let's also craft a axe. Pickaxe, specifically. Boom. What else can I craft here? That's a stick. Wait, those are arrows. We can't, we'll be able to queue up our crafting later once we actually put a bench down and whatnot. Oh, we can actually build an altar. That's how we progress the ages. Here's our crafting bench. I want to do... I want to be pretty much flat land, so I'm going to build up here, though. Give me that. Put some of these bushes as we go, because we'll get some quick straw. Oh, good. That's completed now. Before, I built one right here. It was pretty nice, but I'm just going to keep it simple. Remember, keep it simple, stupid. All right, let's open this. Thank you. A cloud sheep wool. Dried sheep wool. Okay. What the? I don't remember there being a, a portal up here before. That's interesting. They automatically give you one. You had to build this before. That was not there. The hand-holding already begins. All right, let's grab this. Let's grab some of that. All right, I'm going to build a little crafting station here. And let's throw that here. Get these off my bar. Put this over here. Put that there, that there. I don't care about the arrows being on here. That can go there, bow here. Okay. Oops, I didn't put my station back on. Put that here. And we'll drop this. I'll put it right over here. All right, workbench. So we got the glider now. We can make our wooden stick. I've got my arrows. I'm going to queue up. Just some of these. Nothing crazy. All right. Now let's go take a look at our missions here and see what I'm supposed to do. Claim that reward. Man, I don't remember this missions thing really being a thing. I remember having missions, but I don't remember seeing this screen before. So equip a stone pickaxe. We'll get some stones, make our glider, equip it. Uh, make a wooden stick, get some meat. All right, basic, basic, basic. So there's this. I don't think I can hit this yet, right? Need a tier three. Break a couple of these. This will help us flatten out the land, too, so we can have some more space. The reason why I like to build up here is so I can just, like, glide off of here if I need to get out. Let's, uh, I'm going to clear this space out just a little bit here. And, of course, as we're going, we're earning some levels. So let's check out what we can do with these skill points now and see how much that's changed. So we've still got... It looks like we still have the same five tiers here. Basic stuff, which is just all of our... Really random kind of items. Combat. Self-explanatory. Magic was pretty cool in this game. Not the greatest, though. Living is all of our gathering proficiencies. And tricks were also like a bunch of really random things. Play dead. That's different. Start period of time, but you won't be attacked by enemies in your life. And mana will gradually heal. Interesting. Dash forward. Okay, so it's a little dodge. In the air. Lean force. Restore life when a buff is applied. When you block a long-range attack, your mana gets slightly refilled. So one of the greatest things was healing. And other than that, obviously, it was just all about combat. So what I'm going to do... Or actually, and all about living. So, like, create a potion that slightly heals the life. Like, that was pretty nice. Gather Frenzy is okay. Nothing great. What is this? Affinity of the Axe increases. Yep, I'm going to level that up that oh, I like how it says zero out of one but it can be leveled up to what three four five six maybe level six give or take same thing with the miner money grubber 
Let me see here. Survive less long swimming. Sense of a lumberjack. Chance to obtain additional wood. Um, can reset for free for once. Uh, I'm trying to think of like what I really care about here. One of the biggest things was definitely pickaxe. So I'm going to hit that. I'm going to get sense of a miner. Additional money is whatever. Structural mechanics, whatever. Diver? Chance to find an item randomly when swimming. There's a chance of coming with a rare enchantment. That's pretty interesting. That's new. Tape cutting. Chance to gain a gotcha coin when constructing a building. Also interesting. But the rest I'm going to do combat. So I'm going to grab my heal. Put that down here. And I'm going to get... Great Archer is not bad. Charge Strike, Rotating Strike, Martial Arts Fist. We're going to go with Great Archer. All right. That's going to be what I do for now. I'm going to finish clearing this off and we'll finish up some of these quests here. Let's go grab these little wooden arrows I made real quick. We'll make a glider. Take that. I'm going to make a little wooden stick, even though I've got one. Still have to make one. Yeah, thanks. A jump slash, fly through the air with the glider. Oops, I hit the wrong button. Oh, there's the bear. Okay. And then knock out an animal and get some raw meat. Watcha! Missed. Get back here, you delicious being. All right. Hey, okay. Grab these things are jerks. I'm gonna grab some of this iron here or copper. Copper ore. Learn how dangerous meat is by eating it raw. I love games when they're like, learn how what happens when you eat raw meat. It's like, I don't think I could download a game by myself if I didn't know what happened if I ate raw meat. But, you know. Probably would have died by Salmonella by now, if that was the case. Alright, let's check out our quest here. Accept, claim some of these rewards. Yep, yep. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. Let's eat our raw meat so we can get rid of that stupid quest. They've separated my inventory pretty nicely. There it is. They still have all this different... Like, a chicken's egg, like, ugh. It, it takes up so much inventory, but they've kind of fixed it a bit now, so you... It's still awkward, though. Alright, let's eat that. Yeah, eat raw meat. Let's create a campfire. Oh, I gotta make that at the bench. Okay, leave me alone, little mono. Workbench, we can make a commercial space. Here it is, campfire, craft this up. Oops. Alright. They still never fix that weird delay for swapping weapons. Take this, and my inventory was full. Throw that over here, I already told you all that can go away. This down. Right there. That'll work. I'm gonna get rid of this tree, though. It's in my way. I don't like it here. Repair wooden axe and inventory. Yep, repair. That's the one nice thing about the game. Even though there is a repair, you use money to repair things for whatever reason. But then the durability drops. Alright, craft that real quick. Eat, that'll give us eat cooked meat. Learn how dangerous campfires are by setting myself on fire. Oh no. Alright, the updraft. This is one of the cool features in the game is updrafts. Oops, I set the tree on fire. Because I was on fire. That'll give me some charcoal though. See? 
Science. Alright, give me my meat. Of course, I didn't put in my inventory, so I have to come in here, grab my meat, eat my meat, put the meat in your mouth. Alright, craft a market, set up the market, and make 100 gold. The market's a really cool feature in the game. So let's craft this. This is how we make our gold. We sell it to mysterious people from our market. I'll put this down. So, for instance, let me go grab some of these chests around here. Got another wooden axe. Got some ingots. Here's another one. Old rags. I'm going to go around and start cleaning up some of the island just a little bit, especially for, like, the copper war. Uh, apparently I haven't equipped any arrows yet. I've got a hundred arrows right here. And yeah, so I don't know what that's about. Guess those arrows are bugged still? That used to be like that too. Oh well, let's keep clearing stuff out. All right, let's go through the chest and I found my first copper axe. And they always come with some random enchantments on them usually. Like here I got ice cold, loses attack and defense, but I, but I also gain defense and mana. So some of them are great. Some are awful like that. Like that obviously doesn't do much for us. But now I can cut down trees a lot quicker. I wouldn't say a lot, but it's definitely going to be quicker. It still felt the same, I guess. It's only copper. All right. Yeah, I'm just running around. I'm picking up iron as I see it. I'm also grabbing the different chests around. I'm picking up mushrooms. I'm just basically gathering everything on the island, which is what you should be doing. Uh, just because it helps you in the long run for all the things you're going to need. Oops. Missed him. Give me your feathers. And I got an apple seed and a carrot seed. That's... I feel like that's pretty high level from what I remember. Yeah, level 7. Jesus, why would it give me a level 7 seed? I can abuse the crap out of that soon. Which we will. Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just breaking all these things here. All these barrels give you some sort of cooking materials. You'll either get like salt, pepper, cooking oil, unless they've changed anything out of it, but it'll be like that too once we jump in our first dungeon as well. Alright, did a little bit of clearing here. We're gonna make an altar. We're gonna make our furnace. We're gonna start crafting up some... Oh wait, maybe I'm not gonna make a furnace? Oh, you know what? I probably gotta progress our age here, so let's toss this bad boy down. We'll put it right next to our portal. That's going to take a second to grow. I come back over here, see if there's anything new I can do. I can obviously build some basic building stuff now. Nothing new, though. I did throw some of the random garbage I picked up away. Total sales is 1306. And I don't think I can build a fishing pole to catch these fish until the next age. Yeah, no. Not looking that way. That's all right. The great thing about markets is you can have multiple of them. And sell many different things. So if you guys are running low on space, make sure you just build multiple markets. They're really cheap, so it's not like it's even a big deal. Come on. I need to progress to the Stone Age. Huh. It's finally done. Nope, get out of the tree. Oh, it's not done. There it is. All right, so when you come up here, like, look at this. Look at all those new items in that first stage. There's definitely some new stuff in here. Iron whetstone. Whetstones were not a thing. Talisman looks different, unless, like, they just look different. But a lot of new two-handed stuff. Some food in here. Obviously, some crafting stations. The potion brewing looks a little different as well. Can make some new dolls, some other decorations. All right, it's cute. Sturdy tent. Whip. Oh, work in progress, yeah. All right, let's progress the age. 10 copper, 10 stone, 10 wood, and 3 meat, and 100 gold. Gold is one of the easiest things to get in this game. I doubt they fixed it. It's super easy. So let's see. The next age, I'm going to need wheat flour, a detector, and a copper shield. Okay. So first and foremost, let's come over here, see the new stuff. Look at all the new stuff. Look at all. We can make up to silver. And what I always suggest, just make a new pickaxe. And if you have the materials nearby, go get the new stuff, make the next pickaxe, and then get as high as you can, and then start building materials out of it. I'm going to craft that, because I did get a copper ingot from a random chest. I'm going to need one of those anyways. 
let's build a smelter. That's the blacksmith. This is the smelter. All right, I'm going to drop this. Mm, over here. This will be where it goes for now. To get these out of my way. Really getting annoyed with these trees. Okay, I chopped down some of these trees. I'm making copper bars right now. Let's run over here. Let's make a copper pickaxe, first of all. Like I said, always make a pickaxe of the next highest tier possible. And then we're going to equip that baby. Put that on. I'm going to sell the old one just to clear it out of my inventory. Uh, same with the old wooden axe. Same with that. I'm going to just move these down here just so I know what I'm working with. I'm going to get rid of that, too. going to get rid of this. I'm going to make some new stuff very shortly here. Okay, cool. And let's come over here. It wants us to craft the blacksmith, craft a copper bow, some wooden arrows, and a shield. So, uh, first of all, I'm going to grab a wooden fishing rod. Do a little bit of fishing here. We'll grab our blacksmith. All right, I'm going to throw that right here. And I'm going to just make the copper bow. Bows are pretty good in this game. I like bows a lot. I say this, I'm talking like seven months worth of information here. But I honestly highly doubt much has changed. I'll say that in a good and a bad way. They've been doing a lot of progressive updates, but core gameplay, I'm just going to assume nothing's really different. Furniture, workshop, potion. Don't care about those at the moment. What does it want me to do? It wants me to make some wooden arrows. So now we can make, like, copper swords. I can make the copper shield, which is, like, one of the next things I need to do. There we go. I can make... Here we go. Some wooden arrows. And to do that, I just need some stone and whatnot. So let's make, uh... 90 of these. Let that go for a second. Let's check out our missions here. Claim all these rewards. And then next, it wants me to create a Santa, some slopes and fencing and whatnot. Give the slate of growth to who? Anubis? Oh, yeah. In the sky. Wait. Oh, there he is. In the sky is Anubis. He's he's the go one of the gods of the world here. So, let's do that. Let me build... Uh, 30 of these will be plenty good enough. We'll do that. We'll go grab my arrows here. See if we can actually shoot these this time. Equip those. Ah. I think... Wait, was that exactly... Was there no drop? Right in the hole. Oh, there was some drop. Okay. Not a lot. That's pretty... That's pretty freaking simple. Alright, what else do we got here? We got some new backpacks. Ooh, this is different. This pochette contains tools that can assist you in combat just because there are more tools than you expect it doesn't mean it's connected to the fourth dimension and losing it doesn't mean the adventure begins. Okay, that's interesting. I, I don't know what any of that does. So maybe it's like kind of like a little bit of a gotcha almost. I'm interested. It, it's piqued my interest. So let's grab these slanted slopes and let's go talk to our boy Anubis here. Actually, no. First of all, I'm going to go grab some iron. I'm going to get some new pickaxes and make a weapon. And we're going to go into the dungeon. Just so everybody knows, this is iron. And if you're not sure what something is, you can just hit it with your pickaxe. And it's going to tell you what tier you need to get to it. All right, we got some iron cooking up. We're going to do a little bit of fishing. One of the easiest fishings you'll ever do in a game. As soon as the barber goes down, which is always quick, you just click. And you usually get about three casts. And there's our fishies. And I'm going to take those guys. Wait, did I lose one? There it is. Jesus, that one flew far. All right, that should be good enough iron there for my weapon I want to make real quick. I know this would make a pickaxe, but I've got more crafting. So uh, let's come here. And what do we got for options here? I've got a pitchfork. 120 attack. This has 100 attack. Is this two-handed? Not sure if it's two-handed or not. I like two-handed weapons in this game because they were overpowered as heck. But I'll, I'll grab... No, we're, we're going with a pitchfork. Just because a pitchfork is much more hilarious to go fight things with. Give me that. And I'm going to go throw these fish in here. Where are they? Yeah, they are. 
So let's see, like salmon's worth 250. 150 each for these. Thank you. And now let's go in the dungeon. I need to equip my pitchfork. Little chest over there. We'll get that later. So here's one dungeon. Dungeon of Island. Now, every dungeon, let's see if it's changed. Behind the portal is a fake wall. You see that? Fools everybody. Go hit this bad Larry with your pickaxe. You'll find a chest back here, and I bet we'll find a weapon that's already stronger than what we've got. Oh no, silver ingots. Usually the weapons in the dungeons are so much better than what you're going to craft. I kind of hope they changed it because it was pretty overpowered, but we'll see. We will see. Again, highly doubt it, but optimism, right? Get some cooking materials here. Oh, oh, I'm stuck. Nice reach on this thing. That's why two-handed weapons are overpowered. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's that's ability. Spear weapons are new. Spear weapons did not exist before. And if they did, they didn't actually work like a spear. They just still swung like really big swords, which was hilarious. Okay, I'm turn. Thank you. What do we get? Some elemental dust, some more things. Okay, cool. Cool. Nothing here, nothing there. Wait. What's this? Nothing? Nothing. Moving on. Cast and heal on myself. I can see that I was down a heart. All right, not going to like spear weapons very much. I like to be able to just like, what the heck? That was interesting. I like to be able to run and charge into these and break them all really quickly. Copper bow, we already got one. We had to make it for a quest. Grab all this. Food is very useful in this game. See if we can plunge through a couple of these guys at once. Yeah, like, look how much, how little damage that did. I was doing like 18, 19 a hit, and then I can do 68 with like one thrust here. Plus some. Um, some of those did 99. Much more beneficial. Grab all these things. Did I miss that? I did. Wish the range of pickup was a little bit better, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Oh, out of stamina. And there's a reason we're doing the dungeon first before we go see God. When we complete these dungeons, we'll get a, like a growth template, I think they're called. And then we use those with Anubis to increase our health, mana, or stamina. I believe it's one of those three. And here's the boss. Hey, look, it's just the standard golem. That's how it was before. Get my stamina back. Trying to jump on him. Get behind this thing here. It's kind of cool, but... What just happened to my thing? There it is. Its weakness is its core here, so you just jump on this thing. Holy crap, I actually died. I didn't think you could die in this. Before, you couldn't, so I'm glad they fixed that. Well, not couldn't, but, like, it did, like, no damage to you before, so you could just sit there and whack it all day, every day. All right, let's get back there. That was fun. I'm glad it killed me. <laughs> all right, we're back. Let's play with the bow here. I remember the bows were really overpowered, too. All right, let's see. What are the buttons here? I know there was a dodge roll. Am I not going to get a critical on head? No, I guess not. I can in the head, though.
Come on. Turn to me. I just shoot it with arrows. Bink. Alright, yeah, I remember the arrows being really funky before, and it still seems that's the case. That was our chance. Okay, I'm stuck on it. That's... Okay, Jesus. Can we get around it? I can't even get to the core. Or the head. Man. Yeah, the arrows are still nice, but infuriating because it doesn't always go where you aim it. That was just a bad shot. Oh. I'm on fire. There we go. I was like, I just need to hit its core. There was a sound of a door opening. Iron one-handed sword. Let's see. Nah, nothing great. This is still... This is must be one-handed, though. Doesn't say it's two-handed, but it's... Interesting. I realized you can also throw it, but it does super weak damage yet again, so it's, like, not even worth it. Like, eh. It, it did, like, it did less damage than if I just smacked him with it. Then you have to spawn it back in. Alright, open this. Now we've got our slate of growth. And you always get a gold chest and four silver chests, so look at that knight sword. That's what I'm after right there. A nice two-handed sword. I just put that over here. Look at this thing. And they are still ridiculously huge. Like, look at that. It's like at least twice my size. Another glider, two-handed torch, a washing machine. Interesting. Okay. And just like at the beginning of a dungeon, at the end of a dungeon, you're also going to see a false door. Look at that. Careful, you'll miss it. They're pretty hard to spot. Another gold chest. So each dungeon has three gold chests, generally. Not enough space. What is this? This is... Uh, hot and canvas. The inventory management in this game is rough. Let's see. I don't need this. Delete. I'll take this with me, though. So that is a dungeon. Why is he running from me? Let's check test out our sword but let's do a quick upgrade here skills combat i'm going to take another two-handed level oh wow they made the bears really weak that's fine i don't actually care about the items all right let's get back up top here and we will start to build up to Anubis. Yeah, what's great about this game is obviously the crafting. It's called Craftopia. And there's a lot of automation that comes later, too. So it's really cool. What does this building remind you of? It's very sad to say, but it does feel reminiscent of... You know what. I don't want to say it, but... I am Anubis, faithful minion. Why won't you let me talk to you? Oh, there we go. So, oh, you need four of them, that's right. Upgrade limit is 20 times, and it takes four. But you can always reset them. Alright. So, that's him. Let's head back down here. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Ooh, that's gonna sting. Haha, <laughs> cheesed it. Okay, come on, just hit the ground. Thank you. Not used to having such a little stamina. 
which you get later in the game. You just get so much stamina from food and whatnot. All right. Now, like I said before, make your iron pickaxe. Yeah, guys, so if you're loving the Craftopia series and we do want to see some more and progress through, get back to the automation and try out some new automated farming, I created some pretty good uh, automated farms for like wheat as well as animal husbandry. So we'll definitely get back into that and maybe do a little revamp. We'll revisit and see if we can make it even better now with any uh, progress they've made in the game. Obviously, you kind of bug it out a bit to make some nice automatic things, but, you know... That is just how it goes, so we'll check into that too for sure. But if you guys want to see it, make sure you hit that like button down below. Leave me a comment as well what you think of Craftopia so far. You know, it's got that uh, Zelda kind of look to it, but I'm telling you, there's some good crafting in this game, and we'll get to that very soon. So if you want to see it, make sure you hit that comment down below. Leave a like, and don't forget to hit subscribe so you can see when this sweet daily content comes out at 9.15 Eastern every day. But yeah, guys, I think we're going to wrap it up here, and in the next one... We're going to leave this little tutorial island and set out for the world and figure out where we want to build our base. All right, guys, as usual, this has been Shabby Doo. Hope the rest of your day is not too shabby.